What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We got, uh, we went and bought some parts today for the Mustang. We bought a couple new tires for the back of it. And they're, they're pretty nice tire. I'm actually quite impressed with them. I haven't got them put on the car yet, but they, they're not, they got a nice looking tread design. And I was reading some of the reviews on them. I kind of was liking what I was reading, so I figured I would try them. But what we got, here, I'll flip the camera around and show it to you. What we got is a uh, General G-Max tire. These are a, a 275 40 17 and they're they're a nice looking tread design on the on these and they're soft they got a real soft compound to them to them so they ought they ought to put up some smoke we'll find out after we get them put on the car we'll probably do that this weekend get them put on and then we'll do some big burnouts and see what kind of smoke these things will produce I know I haven't posted a video for a while, and I haven't been, like, keeping up on your guys' lives, but as some of you already know, I kind of had a little four-wheeler accident and busted myself up pretty good, but I'm, I'm doing a little better now. Not still sore and a little tender, but it ain't nearly as bad as what it was. I can actually breathe now without, without it hurting. But uh, I, I just want to thank some of you guys for, you know, you guys were... Uh, Keeping up on me when I would pop into your live streams down in the chat. You know, I greatly appreciate it. But uh, just a little short video. I just wanted to show you guys these tires. We got these for the back. I'm going to order two for the front. Maybe. I might order two more back ones. And get uh, 315 35s for the back. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm undecided. I've got 245 45s on the front and 275 40s on the back. Now, I might go 275 40s in the front and 315 35s in the back. I haven't made up my mind yet what I'm going to do. I'm going to order one or, one or the other. And these weren't badly priced. I think for both of them, out the door, I think it was 234 bucks and some change. I mean, I, was, I didn't think that was too awful bad. I mean, I was going to buy, I got Nittos on it now, and I was going to buy another set of them because I really like those Nitto tires. I, I was quite impressed with them. But, man, I, I, didn't, I couldn't bring myself to spend that kind of money for them. So we're going to try these Generals out. I mean, I've talked to a couple people about them, and they, they, they really seem to like them. I mean, I didn't even read too many bad reviews on them so we'll we'll see we'll give we'll give them a try and uh we'll get them put on this weekend i'll get you another video on that i'm going to do a video on a review of this uh air compressor i bought i'll show you guys the compressor now nothing fancy just a little border cable air compressor but we'll, I'm going to do a video on it. I'll probably do it one night this week or something. I don't know. I'll get it done and get it pasted up by the weekend for you. But it it's a nice little it's a nice little compressor. I mean, for it it's small. Yes, I'll give you guys that. It is a little small. But for all the often I'm out here in the garage and need need the air compressor, it's it's perfect. And it's actually kind of quiet. That's one thing I like about it. It it does make a little bit of noise, but it's not real loud. So, I mean, that, that's positive. I mean, you can still, with it running out here, you can still carry on a conversation with your buddies and you don't have to scream and yell at each other. So that's kind of nice. But I'm going to end this one here. And we'll pick, we'll pick back up with another video this weekend when we get these tires put on. Hopefully, I'm going to try to get them put on before then, but if nothing else, I'll, I'll go somewhere Saturday or Sunday and get them put on. And we'll uh, we'll catch you guys there. And yes, this damn Jeep is still here. I mean, I do have it apart, but I've been trying to get healed up. Here's our donor rear end we got that they picked up for it. 
There's some of the old junk parts, and you know, it's, it's just a mess. Been trying to get it done, but you know, with wrecking that four wheeler and busting my ribs up, it was kind of hard to get out here and get anything done. But we're going to finish this up, and we're going to do change the seats in that white '96 on the other side of the garage. Here, we're going to change the seats in that, and then hopefully. Ooh, excuse me. Hopefully if everything goes right. We can get my car in here and start getting the dash yanked out of it so we can put the AC back in that car. Get that thing ready for FTO, yeah. I mean I don't want to I don't want to drive all the way down to Jackson, Tennessee in, in May with no air conditioning, but if I got to, I got to. We've got everything here to do the AC on that car. It's just finding the time to do it. That's going to be the thing. Getting it done before Ford takeover. It might not happen until after, but it is what it is. I'll catch you guys on the next one.